Hi guys, it's Earth Day and welcome back to another video. So today <laughs> I I kind of watched a little bit of YouTube before I kind of started like getting an idea for what I wanted to film today and one of the people that I am subscribed to um they had done like a tutorial on why you should start gouache and this really gave me some inspiration to kind of like revisit like my paintings that I used to do. I used to paint a lot with watercolors. I don't really anymore. Um, and I kind of miss it. But yeah, so today I wanted to try gouache because I really, really like the way it looks and I think it looks so, so cool. Um, so yeah, so if you don't know what gouache is, it is kind of... It's like an opaque watercolor pretty much. So it's almost like a mix between acrylics and watercolors. It is water, you can mix it with water, you can reactivate it. And it's just so nice and smooth and yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna try and paint a little illustration here. I did kind of go ahead and sketch out an idea on, uh, not like in my sketchbook and everything. And yeah, I'll probably, I've, if this kind of turns out how I want it to, I might show you guys what like my idea was because I really love the way the idea turned out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so I, got, I already have this palette. This is actually my mom's whenever she did some watercolors. Um, so I'm just using her palette here and I also have my porcelain palette. And then I have some water, a paper towel, and some brushes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of sketch out a little bit of a guideline. The uh, gouache is so opaque you won't really see this throughout the painting. So then I'm just gonna draw a little sun. I'm actually gonna do kind of like a little bit, bit of a beach, like a beach at sunset. I'm actually going to the beach tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I love the beach, you guys. Um, I've actually done a lot of watercolor paintings on the beach in this exact same like scene and setup, but I'm changing it up this time because I'm using gouache and using a little bit of different colors. I do have my watercolors over here in case I want to grab them, but I, I'm really trying not to grab them and just use the gouache that I have here. So yeah, <laughs> Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. Okay, so. Okay, if I remember going back and looking at my sketch, by the way, this is the Fine Touch Gouache. This is actually Hobby Lobby's brand of gouache, and I this is, I think, some my mom bought for whenever she was working with watercolors and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the only gouache I have, <laughs> but so far I haven't really had any issues with it, which I haven't really just done a whole lot with it, but you know. There's something that's just so nice about the texture of gouache. I don't really know what it is, but I'm really liking it. Okay. So I just went ahead and taped my paper because I want to have that nice clean border. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> that's really fun. Um, wow. I mean, I know I just like did it with, on my um, sketchbook and this actually dries kind of quickly. I'm just going to get a little bit more water. Um, did this in my sketchbook, but I didn't do it like this scale. I did like a really small thumbnail. So this is fun. Okay. So I'm wanting to kind of leave some texture in here because I really love the texture that I left in my, um, that I left in my sketchbook. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So as this is still just a little bit damp, I'm going to get a little bit more of like a orangey yellow kind of color. And what I love about these is you can actually kind of like blend them, which is so much fun to do. All right, so I'm just going to kind of like put this here. This kind of makes me think of the Lion King. <laughs> Let's see, I got the cerulean blue here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of green in there in this little pan. Didn't use a whole lot of green. I kinda used some near toward like the sand part. Oh yeah, I also need to mix like a sand color. Look 
how pretty these colors are together. I love it. Usually I like to stay towards more of the pastel colors, but I feel like gouache is kind of like making me um, branch out a little bit more, which I think is good. Just kind of get out of my comfort zone a little bit more. All right, there we go. I think that's pretty good. I kind of wish that this part was darker. Do I have a darker balloon here? All right, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of water. Ooh, yeah, this will really help intensify this. All right, so I'm gonna go, let's see, I'm gonna get my lemon yellow. And on this palette here, I'm just gonna put that where the sun is. I'm gonna grab a different. Okay, now I'm just gonna kind of put in some of this yellow throughout here. Just kind of help everything stay cohesive. So I'm just gonna kind of like build up. And this is kind of like where your foam is. And because it does, like the plastic pen doesn't dry immediately, you can kind of like blend it out, which is so much fun. So if I show you here, I'm just gonna take this brush and I'm just gonna get the tiniest bit of water on it. And then just like, make sure it's just damp. You don't want it wet, you want it damp. Just kind of like blend it out. There we go. I think that's a lot better. It's still a little wet, but um, yeah, and I just kind of like went over some of this like little wave right here, which I think is okay. I think I actually wasn't very really happy with that one. So, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's pretty much done. I'm pretty happy with it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, okay, so, yeah, that is pretty much it. Okay, so here I'm going to show you what I did in my sketchbook. I did try, I did try and think of like another idea that I could do it with, but here, this is like the idea. Yeah, I still like this one better um, than like the finished thing. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope uh, you guys try out glass yourselves. It's a, it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> um, oh, before I leave, we have to tear off the tape. Most satisfying part. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it's all done. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I know I've kind of already said this a lot, but I really do appreciate when you guys watch my videos. Um, so yeah, I will see you in my next one. Bye!